It's been a year marked by extreme weather worldwide, where deadly heat waves gave way to devastating storms. If I had to characterise it, I'd say it's getting from bad to worse. Is where we're seeing more extreme events, both heavy rainfall-related events, flood, flash floods, river floods, as well as uh, droughts getting more severe. Now, official data shows 2024 was Earth's hottest on record. It means every year of the last decade ranks among the top 10 warmest years since reliable records began. The many record-breaking events we have seen over the course of the last 12 months are not statistical oddities, but rather a direct consequence of the generalised warming of our climate system which is mostly fuelled by the steady increase in atmospheric concentration of greenhouse gases. Australia was not immune, experiencing its second hottest year on record, marked by several heat waves and particularly warm nights. 2024 has also become the first calendar year where global temperatures were more than 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial times. That's the threshold world leaders agreed to try and limit global warming to in the Paris Agreement, signed just a decade ago. While one year doesn't mean the agreement's been breached, climate scientists say that reality is nearing. This is an extraordinarily important international policy that all countries around the world have committed to. So I don't think it's fair to say that the Paris Agreement is dead. Breach or no breach, the impacts are already visible on the ground. Even a few years ago, people might talk about climate change as if it was going to be in the future. Um, it's not in the future, it's now, it's happening. As temperatures warm, a call to rise to the challenge. Tyne Logan, ABC News.